medicating diamonds to be rocks instead of polishing rocks to be diamonds. Mm. I don't know how you label yourself, but plenty of people were telling me you label yourself with ADHD. I have a different view on labels, but um, what's your view on dealing with it, harnessing it for creativity? Is it something that you identify that you do have? Is it a kryptonite or a superpower? In school, um, I've, I've always been hyperactive. I've always been, you know, the kid in school that was always moving about, um, hard to focus on what the teacher was trying to tell me. Is that just because you weren't interested though in that? Yes and no. I would have been interested if they made it interesting. You can make any subject that's not interesting, interesting. Mm. And so then maybe the kid doesn't have ADHD. I think ADHD is not the problem for the person that they claim has ADHD. It's the problem for the person that doesn't know how to, you know, reach a hyperactive person. And hyperactivity is a superpower. And if you take a look at all the folks that impact, uh, a lot of them are hyperactive. They have hyper thoughts. Mm. Whether their thoughts are hyper or their energy is hyper, um, that hyperactivity and attention disorder, okay, let's break that down. Focus. And let's, uh, let's take a look at society as a whole now because of this conditioner, where everybody's mind has been reconfigured to notification and pop ups. And let's see how many people now can have full-on focused conversations. I guarantee you, most of the people in, in popular culture probably has some form of attention disorder. And it's been proven that ADHD was fueled by pharma to um, give kids drugs to make it easier for teachers to have like this um, one size fits all teaching um, style. Not every kid's the same. So to expect little Bobby to learn like Melissa, well, that's not fair to Bobby if Bobby is hyperactive. That doesn't mean Bobby is not brilliant. As a matter of fact, I bet you Bobby is brilliant and you're suppressing them to learn at the speed of everyone else. What if we taught Bobby at his speed and, and focused on what Bobby's really good at? Maybe Bobby's not a historian. Maybe Bobby's not a mathematician. But maybe Bobby is a problem solver. Maybe Bobby's a, a strategic. Maybe he's a freaking a wizard at other things. Has anybody tried to figure out what Bobby's superpower is? Or you can, are you labeling Bobby to be like everybody else in the class that fits into this teaching regimen? That doesn't really, you know, point to everybody getting jobs after they go through this course of school. Like, does education really produce careers? Right now, in society, you have to have a diploma to work for a company. Not mine. <laughs> but... For, to have a company, you just have to have an idea. Like if you want to have like the best job in the world, the companies would be like, um, what college did you go to? What's your degrees? But to create a company that people work for, you just have to have an idea. Now, how do we get those people to start creating ideas? Right, Bill Gates, I mean, sorry, Steve Jobs, I'm sorry. Mark Zuckerberg, did he graduate college? Austin Russell, the guy from Luminar, created LADAR technology for autonomous vehicles. Did he graduate college? And this is dangerous because I, I try to go to the hood and tell kids to go to college. So <laughs> you still need to go to college, don't get me wrong. But teaching everybody at, to, 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 to be at the same speed as everybody you're gonna miss a lot of diamonds. Mm. If you want everybody to be rocks, if 
you're not taking the time to polish certain rocks to realize that they're diamonds, you're going to miss out on a lot of fucking diamonds. And I think that's what we have right now, mm. where, you're, where they're, they're medicating diamonds to be rocks instead of polishing certain rocks to be diamonds. This was just a short excerpt from a long, deep and fascinating discussion. Go down the rabbit hole with me right there.